There's been loads and loads of problems in this country, and I think many of them illustrated by the fact that we litter so much. We talk about fly tipping. Fly tipping has become uh, a sort of an international disaster in this country. People seem to come here and think it's OK to tip stuff wherever you go. You know, I live in London, obviously, some streets in London are pretty clean, other streets are pretty awful. And you see sometimes just rubbish outside people's houses. Fridges, you know, cupboards, they just get left there, nobody does anything about them. And there's now more fly tipping, I think, than anything. People dumping metal scraps, tyres, hoovers, all sorts of stuff going on. Let's find out from John why it's going on. John, a very good morning to you. Good morning, Mike. Thanks very much for talking to us. I mean, I always find whenever I go abroad that every country I go to seems to be tidier and less sort of litter-strewn than Britain. And it seems to be getting worse. And I don't know what it's all about. I don't know why we in Britain have a sort of unique ability to just drop stuff wherever we go. Yeah, unfortunately, that is the case. And I, I can tell you, actually, that uh, Britain's the uh, most filthy littered country in the Western world. Yeah. And we, ha we have a massive problem. And unfortunately, we have an epidemic in both litter and fly tipping. And if you go around the country, as I did, last year I went to every single city in Britain from yeah. Aberdeen down to Plymouth and uh, drove on 95% of the motorways. And they are absolutely filthy covered in litter. So we've got a problem with people's behaviour. Too many people are antisocial, selfish and ignorant. And that's the truth of the matter. Yeah. And uh, it's a big, big problem for this country. We've got many other problems, as we all know. This is a completely self-inflicted one, which we really do not need. Right. And it's despoiling and polluting our beautiful country. And it's been a problem for, for a long time. I mean, I'm, I'm sadly old enough to remember all the way back to the 1970s, you know, when it was bad then, you know, but it's got worse somehow. I mean, I still, I'm absolutely appalled. You're driving behind somebody in a car, you suddenly just see them chucking something out the window. You're thinking, I don't see that happening anywhere else, you know. And I go, my sister lives in this very beautiful little town in Connecticut, and there's not one piece of litter anywhere as you walk around the streets there. Nothing, you know, even, you know, not even a McDonald's wrapper, you know, whereas whereas in this country, it's just, it's just appalling. But one of the new things is fly tipping, isn't it? Because you now, you can be driving in any part of the country, rural, whatever it is, and suddenly you come across a whole pile of just crap, you know, baths, you know, old um, refrigerators, old washing machines, and people are just dumping them in the countryside. Yeah, I'm afraid that's completely true. And your, um, your listeners might be amazed to know that last year there were over 1.1 million fly tips uh, in England alone. And that's one of the reasons why the country looks so filthy, because there are fly tips left, right and centre, down little um, small rural lanes, um, in fields, both on public land and private land. Yeah. And it's really got out of control completely. We need to start really facing up to the fact that Britain is a filthy country with a huge epidemic of litter and fly tipping and do something about. Yeah. And that's what Clean Up Britain's all about, trying to change the attitudes and behaviour of the about 20 million people 30% of the population who admit to littering in, right. in Britain. Is it, a, is it a local council thing? I mean, is it something they can fix? Or is it... I mean, I'd hate to give the, the you know Keir Starmer the, the opportunity to clamp down on people for littering because he'd probably start locking people up right, left and centre, you know. But, I mean, is it is it more a local thing that can be fixed that way? No, I, I, don't, I don't think it is. Honestly, it's a, it's a societal thing that we've got in this country. It's a cultural thing. Too many people, and I say we're talking 20 million plus, mm. who happily admit to uh, littering uh, are quite happy. They don't see anything wrong with it. It's become such a problem in this yeah. country that it's become normalised. It's now a social norm. There's a whole generation, the young generation, who think it's completely normal to live in a country that's filthy and littered, right. as we are. That's and shocking, you just do it? not see it. You just don't see it if you go to other countries in Western Europe, no. France is the Belgians of this world. So it's a shameful thing and something Clean Up Britain's been formed to try and do something about. Yeah, OK. Uh, great stuff. John, good luck with it, because I think you're absolutely right and we need to get cleaner and better and, and a lot healthier, basically, by just picking up your rubbish, for heaven's sake. John Reid, founder of Clean Up Britain there.